Okay, hi guys, this is Frederick Ekman from Wingfoil underscore Mallorca. So, oh, normally I do the videos about wingfoil, tutorials, gear review and stuff. And um, lately I've been approached by different companies. One of the companies I found quite interesting, uh, it's called Airbags. And the reason why it's interesting, because it would make our wing foiling a lot easier and maybe even uh, better. And they sent me a product to test. So here we have an air pump that will pump up to 20 psi. So it will be usable for an inflatable subboard, a wing, anything that needs pumping up. And this one is uh, go going with um, rechargeable battery. By you, you charge via USB, and you pump up your wings or sub or whatever without connecting your cable to the car. So let's have a look what it looks like inside here. Open the box and you find this. I'm so happy to meet you, master. I'm here to make your life easier. Oh, that looks nice. The thing that interested me with this one was, since we're not inflating an, uh, a subboard which are huge and takes a lot of power with just inflating wings. Will this be sufficient to inflate wings, two wings or two times two wings? How many wings will it manage to inflate on one charge? Uh, will it inflate to seven, eight PSI for more than one wing? Okay, let's find out. Come on, stay with me. Airbank, yes, looking compact, weighing about kilo and a half, I would say. Okay, let's see how this goes. Deflate, inflate. Okay, we want to inflate, of course. Yeah, that's easy enough. Okay, let's see and put it through the wings to start them. Okay. Okay. So, this is the adapter the pump came with, and we want to put it on this NSYS adapter, and they don't fit, right? Right, so we'll have to find another adapter if possible. And no, not that one. Not that one. Maybe this one. So what would we use to fit that one in? This one is too big. This one is even bigger. Not easy the first time, obviously, as you can see, folks. So, what you have here, the normal adapter, the normal adapter is this one that fits directly into a, a subboard, the wire wings, the duotone wings, and stuff like that. And if you want to go, if you want to go with a motor, for example, that is just inflated, you put this adapter on here, tighten it, and you got this one. It comes with this handy case, store inside. There's a bag there for the pump. There's a, a charger for you if you want to charge with a home in the USB. There's a car charger. Yeah, all the things you would want is in this and this kit.
system. Okay, we put seven and then empujamos otra vez. Wing to wing, seven meters. It's a big one, it's going to take some time to fill up with air. And it's recommended seven meters. So yeah, it does that automatically, and this is quite normal. It just needs more power to pump up the last bits. But you have to remember that little air bank's pump is completely without cables, electricity, it just goes from the charged batteries. That's kind of awesome. What a great product for us wing for Thank you. with the loft seven. You want a seven for two reasons. You want a seven because you are heavy. Or you want a seven to ride really fast. I put the so I put the coffee group to charge again, but there's not enough power in the machine, in the batteries to do it, so I'm connected to the car. Uh, this is what it looks like. Bio 6, Aura 6. Wind. It's a bit loud, but it doesn't matter. I'm not bumping at all. I'm just uh, making sure that the wing is not flying away. And the uh, air bank's buffet pro without the rest. What's not to like about that? So after some more use of the air bank's pump, I have now discovered a little bit better how it works, this one. But I also noticed that I pumped around six, six and a half wings uh, on one charge, which is pretty good for this uh, battery driven pump. And um, when it got down to two bars left out of five, it didn't want to pump another wing. So what I did then is I connected the, the air bank's battery driven pump. It's called Puffer Pro connected that one to the um, cigarette outlet of the van and then it would fill up the mode to eight no problem uh, which was a so I guess at the end it's not as powerful you want it to be then you just need to give it some assistance some help it charges in about 20 hours or something from zero to full it's really handy and if you're older you don't have to pump one could argue that it's good training it's a good warm-up to pump um, yes I agree I think so too still have the pump but uh, this is sure nice. This sure is nice. This sure is nice. And I had a look around um, and saw that it's 139 euros on Amazon here in Spain. 139 euros. A really good price. And uh, a normal pump would be 45, 50, 
something like that uh, for a pump that you inflate the wings that we're using. So this is just over two and a half times more expensive. Yes, but it's nice. It's really nice to have it pumped up. And also you can mount your gear while the, your wing is being inflated. Put it in a secure place so it won't fly away. You put the Puffer Pro pumping it up and you mount your stuff and it's all finished when you're done. Because when you need, reach the, the set left pressure, it just stops. It just stops. It works perfectly. Really a good product. Really, really nice. Can recommend it. Yeah. What a nice invention. You're right next to me. I can hear you 